The Hermitage's annual Arts and Crafts Fair is back this weekend. It's called the Meet Your Maker Halloween Market, and we it's, it's going to feature some of our area's best artisans. There's a lot of cool stuff out there, even for kids. Sam Carter is live at the farm this morning with more. Hey, Sam. Hey, Alex. Yeah, you were saying some of the area's best makers are going to be here, and two of them are joining me now. I don't want to waste a bunch of time. I got Jesse and I got Makara with me. I want to start with Jesse because, Jesse, you are clearly a potter. Um, talk to me about your work and, and what makes it kind of cool and unique. And your story is really cool. Yeah, so I actually just started doing pottery during COVID. Oh, wow. I just needed something to do, some sort of creative outlet. And I started uh, a couple of pottery classes, got immediately into it, bought a wheel, a kiln and all that. And um, I started carving my pieces right from the beginning. Yeah, you can really see there's really cool fine detail on that. I don't know if it's going to, if it, yeah, no, it definitely yeah. will. Right there in the inlay. That's really, really neat. And you are going to be here Saturday and Sunday for the Meet Your Maker event right here at the Hermitage. Um, and we'll talk to your next door neighbor in just a second. But um, when people come out, what can they kind of expect from your work? So I usually do vases, mugs, cups. I recently started doing little like mushrooms and pumpkins for Halloween. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah. So a lot of things that you can use in the morning, you know, to make your coffee and you can put around the house. I dig it. Yeah. Now, her neighbor in tent one is Makara. Makara, you are not a potter. You are a painter with yep. the P. Um, what, talk to me about your work and, and what makes your work kind of special and unique because there's a kind of a reason behind it, which I love. Yeah, so um, I'm a painter. I paint landscapes and florals. My goal is to bring comfort and joy to people through my work. Um, all my work is inspired by my life experiences as um, a refugee, an immigrant, a military spouse. So um, and all the places that I have lived as a result of that. So. That's so neat. You have one here that I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, there's a little girl holding what seemed at first glance to be balloons, but are grapes. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of your whimsical style? Is that some things you love to do? Yeah, there's a lot of whimsy in my work. I do a lot of experimentation with the concept of like memories and uh, memories that are closer to you, that are farther from you. That particular picture is a little me in a Thai refugee camp. Um, I had never seen the outside world and somehow these plastic grapes made it into the camps and that red dress is um, symbolic of one that my dad has gotten me um, on a trip outside the walls and so those are really special symbols to me of like the outside worlds what kind um, of possibilities there are beyond the walls unbelievable and really quickly while we have about three seconds what is your Instagram handle how can people find you a and F pottery a and F pottery and Macar. Makara Thatch Cernet. Absolutely. We are going to be back in about an hour. We'll be with Barn 8, the restaurant here. We're going to be whipping up something excellent. I cannot wait for that. What we're doing, going to have to come back and find out. This is really I'm hungry, so that's good news for us. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Beautiful artwork, yeah. yummy food, Suzanne. Lots yeah. to do out there this weekend.